<sighs> oh my 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 that was a long day my i just enjoy being alone sometimes and having my privacy oh sexy cat girls on what the fuck what the fuck are you whoa whoa and that brings us to today's sponsor express vpn do you like being hacked do you like being ddosed nobody does especially me i know what i'm talking about so you need a vpn But Tommy, Tommy, what is a VPN? You don't know what a VPN is? Let me tell you. VPNs are virtual private networks that encrypt your data while you're on the internet, making you look totally different. Look, I'm using VPN. You didn't even know it was me. <laughs> hey. Without a VPN, you're putting your internet privacy into some deep danger. And trust me, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I got myself ExpressVPN on my phone and my desktop lately for the sole reason no one can hack or DDoS me anymore. You're not gonna get me that easy anymore, boy. ExpressVPN is available across all your devices, whether it's on your phone, PC, Mac, tablet, TV, router, Game Boy Color, it doesn't matter. But Tommy, what does it cost me to save my privacy on the internet, where I spend most of my time in? The answer is simple. It's less than $7 a month and you also get a 30-day money-back guarantee on ExpressVPN. What? So guys, be clever and get back your internet privacy just like I did by clicking the link down below. And you can find out how to get free months for free by using the link expressvpn.com slash Tommy K. Be clever. It's not that hard. <sighs> oh, finally alone again. Good thing I have ExpressVPN now. Time for some anime. <laughs> oh, here we go. Whoa, well, yeah, she's starting. Oh, yeah. Let's have a nice hour of gameplay, guys. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. The body host. Make so, us 30 minutes. The first thing that's different today, it's on my own air controller. I think that's like kind of a new meta because of fuel or some shit. I mean, we're going to try that shit out today. Mass Mope UK so I can focus very hardcore on Navy and planes. UK is kind of the same as Italy, kind of true, kind of true, yeah. Being my own air controller is kind of meh, but it's better than to give it to UK, uh, Canada, I've never played it before. Yes. We're gonna play very different today. I wanna try new shit, man, I'm tired of always playing the same. I know it's tiresome for you guys too, I wanna play like this, I wanna try that shit. So now I need to bring my fleet together and buy two oil so I have infinite fuel and train my fleet forever. We're obviously, I think what we really learned about the meta is that you can only build screens, uh, capital ships take way too long. Even though for nations like USA, Japan, and maybe also UK, it makes sense to build uh, a full carrier 2 squad of forced carriers. Next, dude, you actually, okay, I realize. You need to train that shit so you can actually design. Look how fast it goes away. It's like I have no fuel, like 0, 0.000. You know what? Let it go to zero. See what happens. Let it go to zero. 1.2. Let it go to zero. Let's see what happens. Zero fuel. And now? I'm still making 0 0.1. Is that worth it in the end? Someone should not do mathematics on that. Is it worth it? It seems worth it, man. We're actually getting... It looks good. We get actually... It's growing. It's not that bad. Uh, no. So I'm gonna have strikes, I think. Guys, we haven't... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I have 18 days for two war support. I mean, in a way, Oxide, the meta here should be... Don't rush uh, home defense. That is very wrong. You just don't take early mode. That is the meta. That how, that's how we should do it. Smart course. Like, just go through the strikes for 90 days. Oh, we're changing the meta. Ah! Ah! I'm changing the meta! What's wrong with him? My first thought would be... A lot. 120 days? I can live. It's okay. Hey, I can live with that. Hey, uh, it's okay. 100. It's okay. It's okay. Does this go away when I have 50 war support? That would be insane. We're, we're, we're testing shit. Okay, we're testing shit. It would go away? If that is true, I just changed the meta. Then shut up. It went away. This was so amazing. This is genius. That was amazing. Amazing. That was so good! This way I now have 6 mils in research slot 
I didn't lose it. I didn't lose early mo. I didn't lose it. That was so good. Okay, my army is kind of done. Mass mode, blah blah blah. China's dying. Japan looks good. He declared on Guangxi though. That was a big misplay, giving a lot of giant wakes on US very very early. Italy seems very trashy. Let's see. Maybe we can finally finish a game today and um, the best Hoi 4 PC man. He is this PC my my the 2080 man. It fucking uh, it look it look the sick animations in this game. The hardcore graphics man. I'm putting RTX on. Look at the graphics. Okay, let's fucking do this shit. I'm gonna do this. Um, main fleet. All submarines? Bum. Main. They might be too big. I don't know yet. Let's bring them all out. I'm running out of fuel in like milliseconds, dude. We have to, we might have to buy oil. Or the USA actually has to send us oil to be dead on. That's very, wow, that's a lot. Did I send your airplanes. I'm gonna call everyone in, send all the airplanes to the UK, please. Especially the USA. Wait, wait. Get these raiders everywhere, level freeze. Well, I think raiders are much stronger. This, in this DLC, the, the, the raiders are so much stronger now just for the fucking reason that now they help you catch and uh, they have surface uh, surface detection. Bulgarian heavy tank. This is a complete heavy tank game, man. If they ever come to Africa, we're dead. If I let them come to Africa, it's over. Don't forget anyone in here that has any submarines, especially Norway, put them up in the Mediterranean. Don't let German tanks come through. Joint Polish-British training exercise. Yo, does anyone have oh, look at this! This is amazing! I, yeah, I do. What? Yeah, this is sick! Yeah, you get so much XP! Wow! That's fucking insane! That's fucking meta, dude! Holy shit! Because of Poland, I upgrade my shit now? They're gonna break France. That's We can't change that. That We, we knew this would happen. Yeah, keep dude, fighting. If, we're, we're killing Axis Air. Uh, we already have 3k more than Hungary. If you want. Trying to make very, very good submarines, you know. Obviously, I need this focus to have amazing carriers. I should rule the map, dude. I should rule the map. I I can't see a scenario where I lose the map. But whenever I say that, I actually lose the map. The UK Navy is completely ready, man. I prepared so fucking hard to win the map. Here we go. Okay, naval battles. I need fuel. Send me fuel. I don't know what the fuck's happening. I like how France is winning. No, why, why would you fight him there? Wait, you're winning? But you're weakening him. This is a very good play by France, but you should never fight him terrain. You see, because you have red air in there. This is kind of stupid by the France also, but also he's weakening him very much. They have 500 Hungarian naval bombers, man. These are my hardcore subs. I'm going to send them in the mat. No fucks given. These are hardcore subs. These are fully upgraded Schnorkel boys. Uh, uh, yes, you attack first. So this is what I'm doing because of my naval success. It, Italy is, is attritioning to death. Does he have real divisions? He has real divisions. Entire Make sure to encircle um, Italy if you can, because these are real divisions. This guy didn't do shitty 40 moves or something. You see, they try. They try. Let me let me talk. We want to talk about meta. You see this? This is what happened before the DLC. Some shitty Italy makes naval bomber twos totally broken, gives them to shitty Hungary, and they ba they bomb your whole sh fleet to shit. But today it's not really working. He's trying, but he's not doing any damage. Is it nerfed? I think I read 15% attack nerf or something. Uh, naval battle, main naval battle is happening in the middle of the Ukrainian. The, the problem is they have six on naval bombs. I don't know how to stop that. Here we go, chat. Here we go. My, my fleet is. Oh, we're already retreating. We're actually not even fighting yeah. anymore. 600 naval bombs. I don't know why we not right. fight. I want to fight. Oh my god! You just <laughs> Holy oh shit! God, he man. just exploded! <laughs> they just all died and I'm Holy shit! shit. <laughs> but why? That was instant. How? What the fuck happened? How did he 
Wow! Really but wh I don't really understand! I, I don't have oh cameo. Oh God. shit, what man. He got fuck fucking it destroyed, it man. <laughs> was it torpedoes? Tor yeah, I think it was because you had 7,600 torpedoes. 7,000 completely overpowered. No, like, if you have a shit ton of submarines in your fleet, you just one shot capture ship. Holy shit, man. That was insane. Wow, and I, I I, feel bad for him. Okay. Like, what the fuck right, just yeah. happened to him? Right now. Uh, guys, put your mindset still on Singapore and India, guys. Damn, we fucking ruled the map. Good. Extra but again, I, I don't want to brag too much because this was not a good Italy. I mean, they tried with the naval bomber tactic, and that makes me very, very happy seeing that the overpowered naval bomber tactic doesn't work anymore. Beautiful. I mean, Kamikaze still works, that's for sure. But it's it seems like naval bombers are not overpowered oh, anymore. No, Beautiful. Fucking, fucking love that ass. shit. No, Wait, we're playing without Russia the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> we're playing without Russia! I'm gonna get Kamikaze here. Let's be fucking honest, man. I'm not gonna do this one. Last time I learned that, you're just gonna get Kamikaze, man. Okay, let's spread a bit here against Japan. Just, There's a very high possibility that the Axe are gonna fuck up uh, Russia, Russia very right hard, then. so we need to prepare d days and shit. Weapons for the French resistance. We give them some guns, and then the partisans fuck up Germany more? <laughs> Wait, what? So I have more resistance? Wait, what? They kinda make gains British Air Commonwealth. Wait, you get air experience? What the fuck is this? British? What? This focus is completely insane. You get what? You have a lot of things. This is insane. Oh yeah, um, I know. Thank you, dude. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Oh, There's like a huge East wait. Oh East shit. Indian Ocean submarines. Uh, we're losing. We're losing. Uh, Borneo. Fucking hell. Oh no. Nothing's ready for D-Day. Oh, no. Nothing. Maybe I also was a bad leader. I should have told people to D-Day and not. I. Japan has no convoys, but he 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 still is not really attritioning. Are you waiting for D-Day? It's not ever gonna be D-Day, man. There's no no, hey, no one's like here. Actually, go to Europe. I mean, not like Yo, I'm ready. Let's go. It's D-Day. Well, uh, Romania's coming back, so I'm gonna go get some ice cream. Oh, we have to wait for Romania oh, yeah, now. Got days into my, uh, Two thousand years later. That's time. Now this game's yeah. over, it's too late. I know, I it's not it. like Russia. Even if you D-Day now, dying. Germany can just bring his, all his army to you, man. But as I said, this game is over already. It has been over one hour ago, the moment Russia broke. It's not Russia's fault, it's just no one is prepared for D-Day. Shit happens. But still, that was that was a fun... I learned a lot here. I'm, I'm starting to get my feeling back, man. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I'm a good player again. That was a good UK. That was good. You obviously should have a Canada, Canadian air controller, so I have much more time to research other stuff. But I'm kind of becoming a fan of a mass mob UK, man. We completely wrecked Navy-wise. I completely ruled everything. I fucked the shit out of uh, Japanese convoys. But still, there's still room to be better. But let's go. But it's too late. No, Germany will just send everything. Let's go. I press yeah, go. Yeah, I'm going. Praise to Jesus. Praise to... Uh, it's not gonna work. Right. Praise to Jesus, Lord. This is too late. That is the most pathetic D Day I've ever seen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is the most pathetic D Day ever. Okay guys, I gotta gotta I gotta go to sleep. Thank you guys very much, man. That was a big stream. Anyway boys, Tommy K is going to his little bed. Thank you guys. I'm gonna dream of you. Thanks for watching, means the fucking world to me. Check out the new YouTube video and see you in two days, man.